What's up guys? It's me, CDK. In this tutorial, I'll be teaching you about Marth's Aerial Dancing Blade and how you can use it to recover optimally. I'm sure a lot of you already know that Marth's Aerial Side B can be really useful for recovering, but I've yet to see any videos discuss its properties. First, let's go over some information that you probably learned from my previous Recovery Moves tutorial. When refreshed, Marth's first aerial side B briefly suspends you in the air while allowing you to move slightly horizontally during the move's animation. Subsequent side Bs can help you recover, but aren't nearly as useful. After using it to recover once, you have to make sure that you refresh it to ensure that your next aerial side B gives you a small boost in height. You can do this by undergoing the normal landing animation, or by landing during the side B animation. Now that we've got that out of the way, we can move on to new information. In this section of the video, we'll be going over the properties of Marth's aerial side B and how it changes his movement in the air. The first thing you need to know is that when refreshed, the first aerial side B grants him a small boost in height that's roughly the same distance as one ASDI input, which can make a big difference in your recovery. When performing the side B, his vertical velocity is set to either a small positive value if it's refreshed, or zero if it's not refreshed. This means that whatever velocity you were at before is replaced with a new value. So if Marth is falling in side Bs, he'll be set at a different velocity value, which usually results in him falling more slowly. On top of this, Marth's maximum fall speed and the effect of gravity on him are also reduced, which means his descent is slowed even more. Before we go on to this next property, let's define air friction. Air friction is essentially a factor that determines how quickly you slow to a stop in the air. Aerial side B's benefit Marth by cutting his air friction in half, which makes him less likely to slow to a stop in the air, and allows him to maintain forward momentum for a longer time. However, this preservation of forward momentum is offset by the fact that doing an aerial side B slows Marth's horizontal speed by 20%. All of these effects apply to Marth through his second dancing blade swipe, and if he does his third dancing blade swipe, his horizontal speed is instantly reduced to zero. I know that was a lot of information to process, so I'll summarize it by saying this. Aerial Dancing Blade helps Marth recover by giving him a vertical boost on the first use and by making him fall more slowly through multiple factors. Next, I'll finally go over the optimal way to use it for recovering. Because each aerial side B reduces Marth's horizontal speed by 20%, it's actually not a good idea to do consecutive side Bs as fast as possible. Doing so will quickly reduce your horizontal speed to zero, and you'll end up falling to your death. Instead, you need to gain more speed before you side B again. The trick to using this move optimally is to fall while holding forward for at least 5 frames after each side B. By doing this, you'll return to Marth's maximum horizontal airspeed before your next side B, which will make subsequent side B uses as good as the previous one. All in all, using this knowledge when recovering as Marth is crucial if you want to make your recovery as good as possible. It's simple, but makes a big difference in your survivability. That about wraps it up for this video. In last week's Comet Wars, I asked you guys what characters you wanted to see in future videos. Mewtwo, Ganondorf, Dr. Mario, and Young Link were your top 4 picks. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'll definitely be looking into these characters more in the coming months. For this week's Comet Wars, I want to know what you guys would rather see. More overviews on how certain game mechanics work, or more character specific things. I have some tutorial ideas saved up, but I figured it'd be fun to have you guys be involved in what I decide to do this month. As always, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked this tutorial, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on future videos. I want to thank PsychoRex, aka Melee Library, for all of his help in the making of this video. See ya next week.